I went from homeless and jobless to having a job, owning a company, and buying a home again. Frank went from a position of power at the top of the world to serving in a simple and unassuming way. On the surface, we seem to be headed in opposite directions, but both are stories of blessing and stewardship. It all comes down to this. Wherever you're planted, be fruitful, give abundantly, serve selflessly, and help others discover the joy of doing the same. Whatever your sphere of authority, God wants you to show Christ-like leadership, a leadership of sacrifice and not showboating, of self-giving, not self-serving. It comes back to Jesus. Philippians 2 tells us Jesus made himself nothing, poured himself out, emptied himself, and took on the form of a servant. That's the heart of leading generously. Jesus didn't have a platform. He had a cross. He humbled himself and God lifted him up. The entire journey we have taken can be summed up in this issue. Are you giving your excess or are you giving your essence? Are you giving yourself to others as Christ did? Christ himself is the seed God planted within you. He's the source of life, the wellspring of every blessing. When you believe in the seed, believe in God's promises, you're trusting that God will complete the work he began in you, bringing Christ to life within you, making you more and more in his likeness. We can be the gardeners of those seeds and others, fertilizing the soil, creating the conditions for growth, helping them grow and bear fruit. Give your good sheep. Invite the needy to your table. Believe in the seed. Do these things and watch what happens. Then join me at the harvest and we can enjoy together the life that is truly life.